I think the cheapest formula used in superhero stories is when the hero is dealing with a problem caused by themselves. Not long ago, I partially sorted out a problem that I had inherited from my mother, and I thought I broke free of this stereotype. How wrong I was. Hashtag superhero. You were one of the few survivors we rescued from the Clover residence two months ago. I even remember your name. Becky. Becky Porter. Why did you turn on us? What else did you expect? I spent 15 years of my life in terror, trapped in a zombie-filled district because of your mother. Do you expect me to be grateful because you pulled me out of there? Becky, uh, I don't know what to say. Look, lady, with that spreading rate of the outbreak, it was impossible for anyone to have survived there. Star's mother had to make a difficult call that cost her life by sealing the Clover residence with the dome. Yeah, the Gord Iron Knot. I've seen the documentary, too. The funny thing is, I wasn't even living there. I was there to strip for a rich bastard's bachelorette party. Um, speaking of rich, you mentioned the Enchantress and Voivod were behind everything. Are they financing you? No. They don't even know about my existence. It was Enchantress's plan all along. She dragged Voivoda into the scheme by promising a device in exchange for the use of his lab. Enough of this. We'll continue this at the station. Lady, you're under arrest. Oh, am I? Shit. Luckily, I want you to crawl on your knees, not die. Now get the hell out of here. That was the biggest defeat in Stronghold's history, Captain. Maybe we should thank her. No, uh, we should. Because she made us realize the true nature of our allies by dragging us into an operation that we wouldn't have been aware of at all. Well, team, we have two targets this evening. Enchantress is hosting the talk show called Codex Tonight. And as far as we know, Voivode will spend the evening on his penthouse floor. Which one would you like to confront? I will personally visit the other one with a second squad according to your choice. I can't believe I almost accepted Vlad's dinner invitation last week. Do you regret having passed on the chance to dine at a restaurant where the plates cost more than your mortgage payment? Maybe a little. I uh, don't think it's a good idea to dine with someone who is planning to steal the corpse of a metahuman that can bend probability and create a deadly device by performing illegal genetic experiments on it.
this guy has a statue of himself all over the place. Hey, little star. I wonder if you bought the damn restaurant before inviting you there. <sighs> How long will you shove this in my face? is still here. Roger, me and my team are close to Enchantress. Proceed with caution. You too, Captain. City's heroic stronghold officers have arrived at my humble abode. To what doth I oweth this honor? Vlad, you don't fool me anymore. My grace, I assure you my professional endeavors have nothing to do at all with my feelings for thee. Really, Vlad? So you waving a sword in my face is a simple professional conflict of interest? This is unfortunate. Cut the fancy words, Romeo. Where is the chaos device? This is a very expensive piece of information. 
Art thou sure thou can afford it? Let me guess. We have to fight first, right? Like being trapped in a beat-em-up game? <laughs> 